Starting a career in clinical research typically involves education, training and practical experience. So what is it like to work in clinical trials? Today we will measure on the pros and cons of a career in clinical research. Number one, it is a rewarding career. Clinical research is the backbone of modern medicine. It is the process through which new medications, treatments, medical devices and diagnostic techniques are rigorously tested to ensure that they are safe and effective for human use. Intellectual stimulation. The field of clinical research is intellectually challenging and also constantly evolving. It requires critical thinking, problem solving and a commitment to staying current with the latest scientific advancements. Clinical research is also a dynamic field that offers the incredible opportunity to shape the future of medicine. Having a career in this realm means you will take part in developing groundbreaking treatments. It will also help countless people lead healthier lives. It's a profession that brings great satisfaction and a deep sense of purpose. Number two, it's a growing field. India's clinical research is experiencing substantial growth, driven by factors like a large patient pool, cost effectiveness, and a skilled workforce. It is relatively new field in India and brings with it some completely new things to learn. Syllabus is refreshing, scientific, and tests the medical knowledge of students. And it is not only limited to drug trials. It also includes observational studies and research in various therapeutic areas like oncology, rare diseases, pediatrics, and medical device trials. Number three, diverse career opportunities. One of the remarkable aspects of a career in clinical research is its diversity. There are various roles and specializations within this field. Here are some of the most common career paths. Number one, clinical research coordinator. They play a crucial role in the day-to-day -day operations of clinical trials. They work closely with participants, ensure compliance with study protocols, and manage data collection. Number two, clinical research associate or CRA. CRAs oversee and manage clinical trials. They ensure that the trials are conducted in adherence to protocols, regulatory requirements, and ethical standards. They conduct side visits to monitor data collection, verify participant safety, and ensure the overall integrity of the study. The responsibilities include writing trial protocols, setting up trial sites, monitoring the participants, ensuring trials comply with good clinical practice standards, and also collecting, distributing, and storing data. Number three is medical writer. It is the cornerstone of clinical research, bridging the gap between scientific research and communication. Professionals in this field play a vital role in translating complex scientific data into clear, concise, and comprehensive documents for various audiences, including researchers, regulatory agencies, and general public. They also write research papers, regulatory submissions, and patient information materials. To embark on a career in medical writing, one should have a strong foundation in life sciences, excellent writing skills, and the ability to synthesize and present information accurately. Courses and certification in medical writing can provide the necessary skills and knowledge to excel in this role. Number four, regulatory affairs specialist. These professionals are responsible for ensuring that research complies with regulatory requirements. They also prepare and submit documentation to regulatory agencies and help navigate the approval process. Number four, data analyst or biostatistician. They are responsible for collecting, analyzing and interpreting the data from clinical trials and their work is crucial for drawing meaningful conclusions and their work is crucial for drawing meaningful conclusions from the research. Number four, clinical research manager or director. These positions involve overseeing the planning and execution of clinical trials. Managers and directors are responsible for project management, budgeting, and ensuring that research aligns with the organizational goals. Pharmacovigilance. It refers to the science and activities which are associated with operations of detection, understanding, assessment, and prevention of drugs, adverse effects, and other expected or unexpected problems. Last is clinical research monitoring. 
They regulate and manage on-site visits to verify that trials are executed, documented and reported with the utmost precision. They adhere to established regulatory guidelines and protocols, ensuring that every aspect of the trial is conducted with the highest standards of integrity and ethical consideration. Their dedicated and focused commitment to oversight plays a crucial role in maintaining the validity credibility of clinical research, thus safeguarding the well-being of trial participants and upholding the integrity of scientific inquiry. Number four, international exposure. The clinical trial industry employs millions of people worldwide with excellent opportunities in locations as far afield as North America, Europe, India, Singapore and Australia. Hence, there is a tremendous scope for international exposure while conducting the clinical trials. And with that being said, you always have a chance to work abroad or with colleagues and clients from around the globe. As a clinical research project manager or site activation specialist, you will collaborate with global teams, enhancing your professional experience. Number five, future growth prospects. According to the World Health Organization, in 2019, there were around 57,000 clinical trials worldwide and in just 10 years, that figure has increased by a factor of 20. The rising demand has caused a surge for clinical research professionals and has even presented new and exciting job opportunities that weren't on the scene 10 years back. In fact, India is the second largest pharmaceutical hub in Asia. A 10% career enhancement in clinical research is anticipated in the coming years. Major components of the field include study of the drugs and their distribution, manufacture new drugs and medicines and their management, determine the appropriate drug dosages for different ailments, study the impact created by the drug on the body, and advanced study of subspecialties related to research such as data management, analysis, biostatistics, and epidemiology. Number six pros, easily available learning resources. A lot of online material and free online training courses are easily accessible and some websites even provide some of the certification online courses and really good stuff when it comes to learning. So you can join some professional organizations, organizations like the SOCRA, Society of Clinical Research Associates and the Association of Clinical Research Professionals, ACRP, they offer network opportunities, webinar, and industry resources. Then there are some online courses also who can uh, really test your aptitude and at the same time equip you with a decent amount of knowledge to excel in this field. So for example, we have the Global Health Network, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, which is NIDA, to name a few. And Biotechnica also provides excellent certification courses in this field. Lastly, number seven pros, career flexibility. You have the opportunity to, to get involved in the healthcare sector and in the mainstream pharmaceutical sector. And you also have the benefit of going back for academic work. For example, teaching as a professor, working as a guest lecturer, etc. So both the options are available and can be preferred one over the other. Multidisciplinary teams. CROs bring together professionals from various backgrounds, including science, medicine, data analysis and project management. This diversity fosters collaboration and innovation. For example, clinical trial assistants support CRAs and other team members, ensuring seamless trial processes. Now let's go back to the cons. Number one cons, regulatory complexity. Clinical research involves the approval of drug into the market on the basis of its safety and efficacy parameters, which makes this field quite interesting, of course. But on the other hand, it has lot of complexities and lot of steps involved. And additionally, if you want to excel in this field, then skills in GCP, good clinical practice, drug safety and outcome, data integrity, regulatory compliance, and knowledge of clinical trial phases can set you apart from other candidates. And as the field is becoming more data driven, familiarizing yourself with data management tools and software used in clinical trials will also be required in uh, a few days or months. A solid foundation makes you more versatile and also attractive to employers. So this is something which you'll have to do on your end if you're aspiring to have a career in clinical research. Number two, it requires relevant qualifications. To kickstart your career in clinical research in India, you can consider enrolling in a bachelor's or master's program in clinical research or related field. These programs not only provide a solid academic foundation, 
but often they include internships so that you can get practical experience. So there is one Master of Science in Clinical Research program offered by Max Healthcare Institute Limited in collaboration with the RCB, Regional Center for Biotechnology. It is a comprehensive two-year full-time course which is designed to equip students with the essential knowledge and skills which are needed for a successful career in clinical research. And you would learn about some subjects also. So you would need knowledge of specific subjects which requires focus. For example, pharmacology, drug regulatory affairs, some subjects of medical biology, pathophysiology, uh, rules, clinical trial gu guidelines, and learning about drug safety, pharmacovigilance. All these are quite interesting subjects and one might find them even more easy if they come uh, from a pharma background. So while it's technically possible to work in clinical trial without the relevant qualifications, for example, working up from an admin administrative role, but pursuing this route carries no guarantee of employment. And when studying towards a career in clinical research, it's also worth gaining as much research experience in a laboratory or clinical trial setting as possible. Freshers can get experience by pursuing entry-level positions or internships in positions like clinical research assistant or coordinator by joining the clinical research training programs. Number three, con core responsibilities in clinical research. So they these internships are one way to enhance your skills and responsibilities. One is preparing, collecting essential documents, preparing the ICF or monitoring on subjects during a trial, recording subject data, patient observation data, patient as adverse events, drug adverse event reporting, etc. And um, to make sure that all of the above things are in compliance with the GCP, that is all work must done must be accurate, authentic and should be free of any errors. So these all can sometimes require a lot of effort and only if you are passionate about this uh, field, then only you should go. Otherwise, you might not be able to enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy anything, then there is no point in choosing that career. And also clinical research involves a lot of collaboration. No matter where you go, you have to be really good at communicating and working with others. So if anyone is not much of a people's person, then I think this career is not for them. Next is competitive career path. Okay, so just to keep a note that this field is developing and will soon establish itself as one of the largest developing industries in the world in coming years. But however, just like any other field, the main scientific research part with working in expensive labs, instruments, medical devices is basically done by prime scientists. So those are the PhD scholars from reputed institutions, sometimes from abroad or some highly qualified people in the medical sector who have lots of knowledge and experience. So before looking for good opportunities and salary, experience is a must. And today, this fact holds true for every field, not just for clinical research. If someone is going for higher studies in the field, then the results may prove to be more beneficial. In short, work hard and get paid well. Next is the pay scale and career progression. So how much do clinical researchers get paid? Wages in clinical research are highly competitive and they depend on a number of variables, including job title, level of experience, employer and location. Pay scale is good, but only after heard hard work and experience. A lot of jobs and opportunities are there for freshers, but they involve an average pay scale in the beginning since the majority of the paycheck goes to the senior and qualified and experienced researchers who have completed PhD in this field. But yes, hard work and experience will definitely lead to better financial rewards. And the last part which some may find it challenging is the syllabus. It's very interesting, but it can be quite extensive. It can prove to be quite big for some students to grasp. Everything in this industry is changing and needs to be updated as per recent guidelines. Knowledge and skills are required to excel in this field. So you have to keep learning and stay relevant in this industry. That's what is the key. So what is the final verdict? What should you do? So I think it's important to ask yourself what you really want to do. Do you want to get patient experience? If so, then uh, think about working at a clinical trial site. Do you want to be more in the data management site? Then look for some data coordinator manager roles. If you're not sure yet, it's always good to look at different job descriptions. Working with recruiters may also be helpful. So basically you have to realize your passion. But sometimes it might take years for you to find out what you're passionate in. So it's okay if you're not sure, it's part of the process. Um, but whatever it is, Biotechnica is always there for your help and support. Let us know in the comment section what do you think about this feed. Thank you.